Hi all you gorgeous people. Um, this is a little, uh, I'm sitting here with my breakfast, my clabbered milk. So good. And my peppermint tea. And uh, this is the start of a little series I'm going to make uh, about um, cowgirl. It's, it's my cowgirl school. <laughs> cowgirl training. Uh, but also for cowboys. And I want to start off saying um, that I, I was brought up in a in a in a city town in a city and in a flat, and I have no uh, training from my childhood. And everything I've learned, I've learned um, by myself. I've also learned something in in Australia on a sheep farm, but um, there's no uh, strict rules to anything. And what I share with you is just what I experience. And if you want to try having a cow or looking after cows, it's it's all a matter of trying yourself what works for you. So I'll just start off saying that. Um, and uh, in front of us uh, here is a picture I got from my husband uh, for my birthday. I think it was last year. And it's a picture of, uh, it's from Sweden, two young girls and a boy and they're milking cows. And... Um, I think it is just such a fascinating world, and it has it is just it just enriches my life so much. Uh, being connected to cows and having to do with cows, it could be goats or sheep, but milking animals, I just think it's so fascinating. And it's uh, well, just this picture, it's beautiful. It's beautiful to see man and animals working together. It is just, and I think it is really what is meant to be. Man has been close to, well, living in nature and close to animals in some way or the other ever since the beginning of mankind. And uh, when we started taming the beasts, uh, the cows, it's about 10,000 years ago, uh, we could, uh, I mean, we, we came into much closer contact and could condition them so that they became, we really, really could uh, interact in ways that were very, very helpful to us but definitely have also affected the animals that we have become uh, so closely connected to them. So I just love seeing man in nature. I think it's so beautiful. The simplicity, I mean, it's just, everything is just so beautiful. <laughs> and when man lives close to nature, man, the beauty of man shines out. That's what I see. Whereas the modern way we're living, there is so much ugliness and man becomes very ugly. And not that I don't believe in, in modern ways, but I just, I really believe that we all uh, are going to have to find ways where we live in a much more natural way, uh, with modern help, but uh, where all the beauty that used to be can come back. And the well-being, and the good health, and all this that mankind has experienced, just on a new level, where everything yeah, the beauty returns and the grace, mankind's grace, a graceful way of living with all life, uh, will come back. So <laughs> I'm going to try to see, uh, uh, just give you some advice and many things I might have said before, but I, I just thought it would be really, really fun to make a, a little school of uh, for people who want to be uh, milking maids, cowgirls, cowboys, whatever you like to call it, people who want to work with cows and learn what to do. And uh, here, apart from my breakfast, I have the, the, the Dexter milk. Uh, and unfortunately, she's Morosi is milking very little. But um, I have the milk from, from yesterday here, which is clabbered, nice and sour, which I, I, I blend or just whip up and I drink it. And then I have the milk from this morning, which I've put new clabber in, so that's going to be clabbering for tomorrow. And here I have some whey, which I drink, and some uh, beautiful little simple cheeses, which are just from that milk. So I want to, uh, uh, yeah, there's many things I want to share with you, <laughs> but I want to read something from the Bible, <clears throat> because my approach to this is uh, how I really think we, sh we, we humans are going to have to live and that is that we're going to just turn on the light got a little simple light here 
the way we're exploiting nature and, and we're just completely destroying nature and the way we're treating animals is horrendous. I mean, you could just go on for days talking about how horrible it is and I won't do that. I just know that if we want to live on this earth, we're going to have to treat nature with respect. Otherwise, we'll just be destroyed. I mean, we'll just we'll just be <laughs> swept away by some storm or something. Uh, we will we will kill ourselves, and um, the earth will survive some way or the other. But if we want to live on this earth, we're going to have to live in respect and honor towards all of life. And it is so fascinating because, uh, I mean, when you look at it, there is there. I believe there's spirit in everything. Everything has. A, a spiritual unseen energy or oh, and you can see it's just the presence of God I mean even in those little cheeses there's the presence of God that's what I believe God is everywhere present in his creation and we we are supposed to connect with this God this spirit side or this uh, this life force that is in everything and it's so fascinating that in the Bible it says um, also how intelligent beings are. I mean a cow is so intelligent and we've just got to, to learn that they're just these animals you just have to use them and take what you can get and just kill them afterwards and but but really uh, all beings are intelligent and they hold the wisdom of God and the life of God. So in the book of Jobs it says it's chapter 12, uh, verse 7. It says, But ask now the beasts, and they shall teach you, and the birds in the air, and they shall tell you, or speak to the earth, and it shall teach you, and the fishes of the sea shall declare unto you, Who knows not in all, in all these that the hand of the Lord hath wrought this? I think that means has made them. In whose hand is the soul of every living thing and the breath of all mankind? And then it goes on. Doth not the ear try words and the mouth taste the meat? With the ancient is wisdom and in length of days understanding. And so it goes on. But anyway... Um, when we live in in, um, in harmony with nature and we live in respect and honor to all towards all life, we see that there is wisdom everywhere. So we want to do things with the animals, but they are actually teaching us also. So it's living, living in harmony is really interacting with love. So um, yeah, and and so it's. Uh, it's using what you 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 want from the animals, but doing it uh, doing it with love, and of course uh, you can say that a cow, like my cow Rosie, she really instinctively wants to just be with her calf, and the calf wants to be with her. And now I've taken the calf away, only two months old, uh, uh, because I want the milk for me. <laughs> and people can say this is not this is cruel. Um, but you can, the, the animals will actually accept uh, that you do things your way. As long as you do it, you really connect with them and show them that you do honor them and you, that you do look after them well. So, and the, just like the human body is very adaptable, the cow and the calf are incredibly adaptable to changes, to, to ways of, uh, and treatment that was not uh, natural millions of years ago. So we can we can do things our way, but and as I see it, um, as long as we we keep treating them with love and respect, uh, then we can do many things that um, are just really fantastic. So this was the beginning of our little uh, cowgirl school, and um, yeah, I've said what I'd like to say. So um, we'll move on with other subjects about how to milk and um, how to train a cow. How to, you know, I'll just talk a little bit about this, how to discipline a cow. Because like children, uh, cows want to take control <laughs> and they want to be the boss. And so, and I've learned this, I've had cows for nearly 30 years and I've, I really have felt like a beginner for years and years and years and I still do. 
but I can really see the last few years, especially working with the Dexter cows, uh, <coughs> that there are really certain things that, that um, they respond to really well. And uh, that's all, uh, it's just all fascinating. But uh, yeah, disciplining, milking, just look, taking care of the cows. And um, uh, yeah, we'll talk about many things. So, but uh, I'll leave you now and uh, bless you all. Take care. See you.